Do you want fast and reliable jam detection in your system to reduce unexpected shutdowns and losses in terms of financial and production time? If the answer is yes, then Banner's Q5X Jam Detector Sensor will be an excellent choice for your application. Hi, and welcome to the RS Technical Solutions Center, and today we are going to go over and show a small demonstration on Banner's Q5X. The Q5X Jam Detector Sensor is a plug and play solution that helps personnel respond quicker to real jams. It also helps reduce both excessive wear on equipment and damages to goods traveling on conveyors. With the Q5X Jam Detector Sensor, you can prevent large jams from occurring and provide safer conditions for personnel. So why use the Q5X Jam Detector Sensor from Banner? Well, the Q5X has a built-in jam detection algorithm, meaning it does not rely on gaps to sense package flow. It also detects a variety of package types, including boxes, bottles, and poly bags. The Q5X functions as a standalone solution or easily replaces other jam photo eyes. It protects equipment from material by detecting real jams faster and reduces time troubleshooting false jams. It also increases throughput by reducing space between boxes and it's easy to install as it has an industry standard M12 connector and a variety of mounting brackets available. So what are some cases for the Q5X? One is the power curve. This happens when packages are entering a power curve and it can pile up rapidly if a jam occurs at the exit. This area is also prone to false jams as the bulk flow of packages offer few gaps for traditional methods to detect a jam. In this application, the Q5X jam detector sensor is mounted immediately after the curve and allows the sensor to detect real jams quickly and minimize false jams. Another is using the Q5X on gravity-fed spire conveyors. Packages typically get stuck midway down the spiral in this type of conveyor, causing a backup that is difficult to clear if the jam is not identified quickly. Standard photoelectric sensors might falsely detect the jam due to the lack of gaps between packages, thereby triggering a maintenance event where there is no actual problem. Simply replacing the standard photoelectric sensor with the Q5X will help solve both problems. One last use case is non-singulated bulk flow. This occurs when multiple packages moving side by side may have few visual gaps between them, and traditional photoelectric sensors can falsely identify jams as a result. Because the Q5X jam detection sensor does not rely on gaps between packages to detect flow, the number of false jams detection will be reduced significantly. Bulk flow conveyors are also known for experiencing large jams due to the large quantity of packages moving on them but by leveraging the Q5X, you can ensure that any actual jams will be smaller than they would be with traditional sensors, and there will be less impact on productivity. Some technical specifications for the Q5X includes a range of 2000 millimeters, user selectable response speeds of 3, 5, 15, 25, or 50 milliseconds, has an IP67 rating, and has UL and CE standard. In this video, we will also show you how to use the Q5X in retroflective and background suppression mode. We will also explain how to adjust the delay and get back to factory default settings. First, let's set up in retroreflective mode. If you have a permanent target, such as a wall or a bracket on the background, you can use this mode. No reflector is required in this mode. Out of the box, channel one is set to the jam retroreflective mode. Press and hold the center button for two seconds. Then click the center button to select mode. Whether gaps are present or not, Banner Q5X sensor can detect the jam. Now let's set it in background suppression mode. If you want to ignore objects in the background and there is no background target, you can use this mode. Out of the box, channel two is set to the background suppression mode. To access channel two, press and hold the plus button. Then click the plus button to switch to channel two. Click the center button to select channel 2. Then place a temporary target in front of the sensor to teach the sensor. This is used to set the sensor's cutoff distance. It will ignore anything beyond this distance. Hold down the center button for 2 seconds, then click the center button. The sensor is ready for background suppression mode. Whether the gaps are present or not, Banner Q5X sensor can detect the jam. Next, I will explain how to adjust the time delay. If factory default settings of two seconds are too short for your application, you can adjust the time delay very easily. To adjust the delay, hold down the minus button for two seconds. 
then click the plus button until you see the time selection mode. Click the center button to select this mode. Then by clicking the plus button, you can set your desired time delay settings. Click the center button to select new setting. To exit the program, click the minus button until you see end, and then click the center button to exit the program. To set it on factory default, simply hold down the minus button for two seconds, then click the minus button. You will see reset. Click the center button, then click the plus button to yes, and press select and that will reset the Q5X to factory default. Hopefully this video gives you great insight on when and how to use Banner's Q5X jam detector sensor. To get more technical support on the Q5X, contact us here at RS and remember to get your Q5X and other automation products from rs-online.com.